What is going down, people? Lord Fishy Fish Show, back on the house. In the flippin' fishy house here. And we are gonna make something in Blender. I'm not sure what. I'm sure it'll be in the title, because I'm sure I decided by the end of the video. <laughs> so you probably know. Um... I think it may be a different style of couch. I think we might be doing some stuff in one of our games here, so... Maybe something like that, just some different furniture. I'm trying to think, I did a kitchen, did bathrooms, did just about everything, so maybe we'll just do some different furniture. Real quick, just a real quick one. I haven't done any Blender videos for a while, so... Just something. Um, what am I missing? Okay, we'll just finish that off. So I'm all sized. You can do those steps if you want. You don't have to. I use um, Unreal. Unreal needs it to be sized correctly. So you can do it. And if you're using something else and you don't have to, that's perfectly fine. All right, let's get started. I'll go to our sizer. Scaler, sorry. So I kind of got something in mind now. I'm going to try to make it. Hopefully it works out. We'll see what happens, though. Oops. I'm going to shift E that, pull one up, and I'm going to make this one fairly square. So this is going to be our couch, but um, it's going to be different this time. It's going to be like some sort of sit-up couch type thing. We'll have to see how it goes here. Um, like a therapy couch type thing, like something like that where you'd sit, but you'd be like kind of sitting up. Uh, maybe that's the best way to describe it. <laughs> so I guess we could try to bevel it all and see how that goes. Uh, we're going to need some more edges. I'll do six. And then we'll undo that last move. And I'm going to change the edges like that. Let's see how it looks. Hmm. I'm not sure I like it like that. Let's try doing it a different way and see if we can make it look a little different. And I hope you guys have all been doing well. I haven't been doing much Blender videos because I caused a bunch of issues in my game and I had to fix them and do a bunch of stuff and I've just been a little busy lately. I'll do the top and bottom at the same time. And I'm kind of running out of ideas. You guys haven't said much and nobody's saying like, hey, I'd love to see this. I'm having troubles building this. so. I just figure you guys are good, so I guess I'm going to do something like that. If we really wanted to, we could go in the middle one and just hit I and sink in it a bit. But it looks like we're going to have trouble, so let's just right click and not do that. That's got a pretty good shape to it. I'm going to bump that down there. I'm going to switch to this. I'm going to hit tab again and just grab edges again. B and we'll round them a little bit just the one way it's like that so now we have a round cushion round edges it's not sharp it looks a little nicer and I don't know if this is gonna work out hopefully it is I've never really built one before so I have to just hope it does um, let's change the shape of that one hopefully this will be our cushion leaning up but we're gonna have to figure out the right angle um, we could do this and then I know the right angle will be about, what, 45? Opposite, minus 45. Ooh. <laughs> I had minus 454. That looks a little, bit, a little bit too much, so let's do minus... Uh, I did the same thing. Minus 40. E minus the 25. No, it's going the wrong way. Um, so minus 60, yeah, something like that is what I was thinking. So I'm just going to move it around a little bit, we'll reshape it a little bit so it's kind of separated. And we may have to add an arm or something over here to the couch to kind of make it make sense why it's leaning like that. I'll figure it out though. What is it? Yeah, something like that. 
could add a, a back piece too. It's kind of up to us, obviously. So change the angle to make it make a bit more sense too. But I was just gonna run it to the edge like that. That's what I want, type thing. And then we just need a chair arm, which we could try to use that same shape. Actually, we'll just take the minus 60 out of it and just make it a zero. Okay, 90 then. Is it this one? Darn it. Now I've lost my axis. <laughs> okay, this one then. There we go. So what we could do is just change the shape of it a little bit more to be more of like uh, the end of a, a couch cushion look. So maybe we'll go a hair wider or something. Like that. And maybe this one could be a hair smaller that way. And we can go down this way a little bit. Alright, and I think that looks pretty good anyway. So it looks a bit like a bed, but I think it'll do the job. You can move your cushions where they're not sunk into each other. Something like that. And I won't take too much time because uh, you guys will take the time to do it, I imagine. We'll shift D this piece, and we'll come back here, and we're going to flip it on a 90. Oh, God, which one was it now? I think it was this one. No, it definitely wasn't. Okay, this one. Yeah, there we go. And we're just going to run that up to the edge there. Take your time and position it. I won't take my time. I'll just give you guys a good example. I think that's pretty good there. And I'm going to shrink it a little bit. Something like that. So, it's like a half sofa. And then you can hang your feet off the end. That type of thing. You might have to adjust the overall sizes of some of the stuff. It looks like this is a little thick. It's a little big still, so maybe we'll do it something like that. And we could change the angle slightly so it's more up and down, so minus 70, I guess. And you'll get it eventually. You're going to have to mess with it a little bit until it looks perfect to you. I think that looks pretty good to me. Um, guess what we could do here is we could either stretch this back past that, or we could leave it like that. Depends how you want to leave the look. But I really like it. I think it's a little cute thing there. I don't know. It looks pretty good. Maybe um, maybe we can add some lags. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, trying to picture what I want in my head, what I'm picturing in my head. But it's hard to know sometimes what you uh, really want. Sometimes you, you think you, you know and you start making it. It turns out not to be exactly what you were thinking. I'm going to do this, and we're going to stop just short of a circle, and hopefully this will work out. And I'm going to shrink this down like that, okay? Then I'm going to go out of edit mode, I'm going to hit S for it scales evenly, because the, we want the textures to look okay on this without having to do a subdivision again. And since we haven't broken anything or inset anything, I think we're going to be good without it. But feel free to do it if you're worried and you want to just make sure that it's all even. So let's have a look at that. It looks a little tall, so let's... Actually, let's do this. Something like that is what I was thinking. I didn't want it to be too big or high. I just wanted it to be a little lag like that. Now that we have it, we'll shift D it and we will do this okay and then it's in place over there we just added a minus to the top one so now we're going to take this one shift d it again we're going to minus the second one i believe yep and then we're going to take this one shift d and we're going to minus the second one which is why okay so now we have all four of them exactly in place exactly symmetrical so one, two, three, four. We're going to grab that piece after and control J. And I shift and then shift left click to grab the next one until I had them all grabbing this piece last. Okay, these are optional if you want to be able to remove them. Um, you can leave them not attached to the rest of the couch. I do not want to move them. I want it to be one solid item. So I'm going to control J to attach them all together now. So we'll quickly go into coloring and we'll just give it a few colors, maybe um, give it the option of having many different colors um, by doing this. So 
let's just be able to customize it more by first we'll set a base color and we need to be in edit mode and we'll hit assign Okay. now we can put um, highlight colors if we want so if we wanted to change the color of that or the color of this for example um, let's do this let's um, change the color of this to something different so it's going to be the base that holds it up we'll give it a wood look maybe so we'll just remind ourselves of that by making it yellow here okay so that's going to be a wood color and these cushions are going to be a fabric color or even a fabric texture and then I'm going to do these legs down here and I'm going to do it similar to the other one but I'm going to do it just slightly different to say do this a darker color wood and you're going to get to select your textures in game this is just basically um, setting a place for the texture if that makes sense to you so when it comes into the game it'll say you have the option of putting three different colors on this would you like to select your colors and if you color one of these it'll color all of them if you color this it'll color you know and then you have the options uh, we could do the cushions again a different color just to give it more options yet but I think I'll leave it like that that looks pretty good you can jump in edit mode and have a look at it make sure you're, you're happy with the size of it you can shorten it uh, you can make a, uh, the whole thing smaller you can make it a chair more so you can make it thinner if you want whatever you need to do to make it work for your look I actually like that a little more actually <laughs> that was weird just happened to stumble into it yeah I like that so I'm gonna keep it like that hopefully it worked out for you guys hopefully it helps you in your video make sure you subscribe make sure you like and if you have any suggestions of things you'd like to see in the future please let me know in the comments below thanks for watching bye